Hey, what is going on? This is Adrian from Coughland AI and today I'm coming at you with another exciting tutorial uh, because many of you have requested and asked me how can I send uh, data from, let's say you have a list of leads with phone numbers and names and you want to uh, you know, want to pre-qualify them, prospect them, and initially want to make a call to your list by using make.com. All right, so in this video, we're going to go through all of the steps. Uh, first of all, let's say you're having your lead into a Google Sheet, and it can be like Airtable, uh, you know, any other, you know, source of leads that you want, you can select as a main trigger. So let's go ahead and select the Google Sheets over here right on so basically let's create a new scenario from blank starting from blanks uh, canvas now here I'm going to select a Google Sheets and I want a condition when append a new road to a let's say a watch new rows right triggers when a new road is added okay so let's go ahead and add this function uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose one of my files over here one of my folders so let me just scroll down to yeah go call front AI test. We have a file here that contains a sheet that has name, emails, and phone numbers, right? That's that simple, nothing complicated so far. So I'm gonna uh hit OK. Right, and now I'm gonna add another another module over here, and I'm gonna search for uh H. Uh, usually we would use webhooks, but because the webhooks on make.com only allows you to request, I mean, to have a get uh, action on these webhooks, which means you can only receive data back to make, I want to send data out. So I'm going to use the HTTP, um, HTTP module, and I'm going to make a request. Okay. Now on the URL, now first of all, let's go ahead and select the method switched to post. Uh, and let me just, you know, open up a Coughland AI. Okay. And let's say I want to send to my own agent. So I'm going to go ahead, grab my uh, webhook and go back over here and use this URL as the URL I want to send this data to, right? So URL has to be your webhook from Callsent AI. The method has to be post. Uh, we're not requiring you to send the headers, but the body type, I would go with uh, uh, form data. Uh, let's go ahead and add some items. Let's say text. The key would be the name. Let's go ahead and select. Let's put the name over here. And here we're going to be just typing in name. Let's go ahead, add another another field like the email. Right. And now the value needs to be the value that we're going to be picking up from our uh, source of leads. And the last one I'm going to be using text. And this is going to be the phone number now remember that your keys must be exactly as i put them over here because these are the placeholders placeholders the key values that we're looking for let's go ahead and select phone number c over here automatically parses and converts json don't use uh so don't use okay parse responses let's see show advanced settings uh okay that's not we don't need to do anything over here uh okay cool so we should be pretty much uh set however i would like to you know add a another step add a module look for sleep okay so this is going to allow us to put a delay um on the execution the number of seconds uh let's say we want to have like 50 seconds delay between each of their sent requests and we should be uh, good, right? We can just schedule this every, you know, at regular intervals. You can you can set your settings over here on demand, specified dates, every day, um, every minute as, you know, as you add items to it. So let's go ahead and run this once and see what's happening. All right, so we got the call made through post. Okay, the output, uh, the data. 
Okay, something went wrong, but it's not because the this was uh, wrong. It maybe it's because the data that I'm sending is wrong. So in case you have your number set, like let's see how it's set. Okay, so the problem was that I didn't have the plus uh, country code over here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and modify this uh, field over here and simply put a plus sign. There we go before the phone number so i get it uh, hard coded over there and let's go ahead and run this once again and i should be able to receive the call on my mobile phone okay so we initialize the scenario it went through it went through and let's see if my phone is gonna ring okay it didn't ring yet i want to see the data Okay, so maybe I didn't save it. Oh, that's because it didn't call me. It called somebody else. Okay, so I added a new row, a new field to my Google Sheets, which contains my name, email, and phone number. So I want to run this one more time to see uh, what's happening. So it identified my name, my email, my phone number over here, which is great. Now it's waiting for 50 seconds because I've placed a delay between the steps so just that i don't you know um throttle the system okay 50 seconds gone and now we got the uh, commitment over here okay so i'm receiving the call right now hey this is nick from call fluent ai how can i help you today uh hey this is adrian i'm just you know interested in your service uh i see the service industry huh that's a really dynamic field and um how are you currently handling your phone calls? I don't. That's the problem. Hmm. I get that. It sounds like you're facing some common challenges in the service industry when it comes to handling phone calls effectively. You know, missing calls or long hold times can really lead to lost revenue, right? But yeah. hey, that's exactly... Yeah, indeed. That's the problem. You know, I run a busy restaurant and most of the times we're missing calls due to the volume of work we have. Got it, Adrian. It sounds like the high volume of work at your restaurant is causing you to miss important calls. With CallFluent AI, you can have an AI agent handling all your calls efficiently, ensuring that no opportunities slip through the cracks. This can really help streamline your operations. Does that sound like something that could benefit your business? Mm, yeah, can you tell me the best features that I can use for my restaurant business? One of the key features of CallFluent AI for your restaurant business is the ability to handle support calls automatically with smart, on-point responses 24-7. It can also take bookings, pre-qualify leads, send reservation reminders, and answer business information inquiries seamlessly. Imagine having an AI agent handle all these tasks, freeing up your time to focus on running your restaurant smoothly. It's a game changer. Yeah, I can't argue that. that. That is actually what I'm looking for. How do I sign up? That's great to hear, Adrian. To sign up for CallFluent AI, you can scroll down to the bottom of our callfluent.com webpage and check the pricing table. Click on buy now and follow the sign up process. If you need any assistance during the sign up no, process... No, that would be all. Thank you so much, Nick. Have a great day. Bye-bye. It was a pleasure assisting you, Adrian. If you ever have any questions in the future, feel free to reach out. Have a wonderful day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that is how you automate with make.com. And of course, um, after this, you can continue adding other modules and connect it with platforms and other things. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about it. Comment in the section below and let me know if you have questions on how to automate your CoFluent AI uh, account with uh, other tools. Catch you in my next one. Bye.